Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. The FNM at Home event this time around is Mastermind. This is a format where you have a five color deck consisting of zero lands. You look through here, you see absolutely no lands at all. Now pause in 1080p if you want to take a look at all the cards in here. Instead what you do is you discard a card, and you can do this up to one time per turn, and you get a token that makes one mana of any color. And lo and behold, we get to run a Kaladesh-themed Mastermind deck? Cube? What do we call these? It's, it's not a cube. Anyway, lots and lots and lots and lots of Kaladesh. And <laughs> we're going to try as best we can anyway to, to win a few games. Got to win at least two for this. And if we can win four, we'll get the. We'll, that's what I try to do every video. I try to win at least four. Oh, yeah, yeah. But two for the event for sure. The quest this time around is pretty simple. It's just uh, red or green cards. That's all I have to do. And I think I only have to cast 20. So not too bad. Alright, here we go. Round one Robert Strixon. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Alright. So Confiscation Coup lets me take a creature. Build to Smash doesn't seem all that great. Ow. I felt that in my back. I love this picture, but not right there. Sorry. Sorry, Evangeline. Alright. This is going to be okay for stalling the game a little bit. I'm still trying to you control an, an artifact, then copy if you control an enchantment. Turn on. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Um. We'll drop this one. Mastermind emblem. Maybe I should have done build to smash, build to smash instead. But since I have a two-drop artifact creature, I might be able to make something out of it. Never mind. All right. Well, we'd like to actually get rid of this creature so they don't keep getting advantage out of it. Hmm, but it doesn't look like we're going to have that chance. So instead... And that's the only two drop I have other than Ice Over. Which doesn't actually stop its ability, so we'd rather kill it if possible. Hmm... Yeah, I, that's gonna happen quite a bit as I debate these all the time. Pop this, and make a 2-1. That's a pretty... Winding Constrictor is pretty good to have, for sure. Now, should be noted, Built to Smash only works on attacking creatures. They're not going to block, I imagine. I strongly suspect. So that probably should have actually been... I should have kept this around, maybe. Hmm... I don't know. Two damage in what's probably going to be a high curve format doesn't seem all that great. I like the the art for this. It's Abundant Falls. <laughs> it's the uh, five color land, but also zero color land from Almond Cat. Let's see. Okay, seems good. And the two energy as well. Yeah, not much I can do about this, so no blocks. Alright. Hmm. Enters the battlefield, create a couple mice. Well, discard that. And we still only have one option. We can use ice over just to hit the refiner, but I don't know that that's worth it. I also don't want to get too far behind, though. Let's see if we can wait. Save that for something bigger. We don't even have to use Death Touch to kill the refiner, after all. 
I'm waiting for it though. This constrictor, there has to be some synergy. As many counter shenanigans as there were. Alright? Because that can only be done at a sorcery at sorcery speed, you actually get to read the card's text here. <sighs> All right. Well, that's not ideal. What's four going to give me? It's going to give me a two-three. Uh, sure. I can ice over either of these two. Let's see. Among artifacts you control. Either one, but it won't actually shut off their abilities, and I'm only taking three right now. So, return target, let's see, what is it? Return target non-land, you create a two. Okay. With vigilance. Well, we have an enchantment and an artifact, so I would rather not do that. If you control no artifacts, discard a card. Hmm. Alright. I hate to do it. You hate to do it. But we'll get out of 2-3. And at least this has a cool ability. In a format where you get to cast a spell every turn, basically. I do generally prefer to be on the draw in this format. It gives me an extra card with which to play. And that matters not just because it gives me more from which to choose, but, you know, I, they will run out before I will. What is this? Vigilance, okay. So I'll take one. Cool, cool. Ooh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So we need to actually play something here. Hmm. I don't want to give up Ember Clip. All of these seem okay. Alright. We're behind, so... Alright. Let's take over... What is it? Equal to that permanence converted mana cost. Alright. Yes, we'll cast it. Alright. Yes, take action. Alright. Let's not. If we need to, we can jump block here. That is a 4-5. That is going to get scary. But, we actually have a decent ice over target now. And we can hit it. We couldn't hit it previously because of the uh, hexproof here. And they don't get to draw a card. That's at the beginning of your upkeep. Well, lo and behold, they don't have it. Though I won't get it yet either. Maybe next turn. Probably not next turn. We're probably going to use Ice Over instead. Tezzeret the Schemer. Now that's a card. Ah, oh boy. Okay. Hmm, this will give them uh, more access to all the cards in their hand without having to make them into tokens. Alright. Number of artifacts you control. Two. It'll be two in a sec. Huh, okay. Let's see. Maybe we do carriage first, actually. That makes more sense for Rajmi. They only have to pay one mana to give it vigilance, so there's hardly a reason not to attack here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. 
whale. Let's see. I, I went straight to combat, so right now they might have they might be uh, debating over there. Instead of you doing enchanted carriage, we're going to combat first. Uh, because we have Embercleave. Mostly Kaladesh themed. Not entirely. Alright. We'll see how they elect to uh, block here. We don't have lethal for him, for Tezzeret, just yet. Not just yet. Alright, so that one's obvious. Ooh. Alright. Alright, so whatever it, we're going to get. So, hey, there we go. <laughs> whatever the next card was, we were going to get it. Rajbi seems really cool in a format without lands. You don't have to worry about that. Just play the biggest, most expensive card you have first every turn. I think that concession was maybe a little premature, but I can understand it. I just got a 3-4 double strike creature with Trample, and they lost their Planeswalker there. So, I can kind of, well, 5 toughness? No? No, they didn't then. Still, I can understand. Alright. Let's see. Let's just do it again. Why not? <laughs> see if we can make a run back real quick. Sounds a little quiet to me. I don't know if it's quite quiet to you. I'll see if I can cut it up in just a bit if it is. No, it looks like it's coming through the mixer pretty well, so... Yeah, there it goes. Just low on my computer, I guess. Bartolo. Ooh. Does your control have flying? That's probably the one. Yeah, I don't have any other vehicles right now, so this is the one. I'll tell them hello, try to be polite. Ooh, as best we can. I guess you could also use that to try to slow the opponent down by uh, saying hello and making them respond. Oh. Oh, I just realized my computer is missing one of those little rubber pieces that's used to make sure that when the screen comes down it doesn't hurt the computer. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay. Well then, don't need you. Yeah, let's pass this up. Alright. Should have held control. Alright. A noble. Interesting. No? Let's, uh, live fast. Hmm. Alright. Let's hit you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Servo exhibition's interesting. Let's see, so next turn we'll have our own rebel. Two damage. Target artifact you control, which we have... These aren't artifacts, they're lands. I call them tokens, they're lands. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Permanent you control left the battlefield this turn. Okay. Let's 
I don't think we're going to get to the point where you matter too much. We're kind of behind right now. A 3-3. Three, three. That doesn't do too much either. We want to play the dragster here so that we can get the rebel down next turn. It means we're going to take a hit. Although the rebel doesn't do too much because they can just sack an ornithopter in response to any target. Yeah, it's not great. That was probably not right, actually, then. Probably not. Hmm. That's a good card. Jeez, that was a thing in Standard. They gave a 3-1 in Boros, Scry 2. Because... And, and it had another ability on top of that. Because, why not? Coolest dwarf in the game that's not... That doesn't have destroy target land as part of its text. Actually, no, there's Dwarven Recruiter. That one's... Well, that one's fun. Alright. Ow. Ow. Alright. What is this? Uh, nope. Nope, doesn't look like it's going to matter this game. Doesn't quite. Alright. Hmm. Might be. Might be. I should have paid that. I didn't realize what it was asking. I thought I had it. Huh. Improvise. Okay. Big oops. Big ol' oops. That's, uh... That's not how I meant to do that. <sighs> oh well. Hmm. Okay then. Wait a minute. They can just, uh... Sack into it. They're gonna sack Pima anyway. Alright. <sighs> Do it. You know you want to. Oh! No, they don't. Well, they did actually get rid of my creatures doing it that way, though. That's fair. And of course, they can play something else now. Well, that's not ideal. I was hoping I could block with a 6-1, but I guess we'll take what we can get, right? Alright, let's destroy all creatures, and we need to get up to this 7-drop. So, target artifact creature you control, blah blah blah. It does have trample, so I might want to hang on to that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how much that's going to come in handy. It seems wrong to get rid of any of these, but I have to get rid of something. When we're playing from 8, that might not be ideal. So let's get rid of this. Alright, well, maybe we can make it work. God Pharaoh's statue. Ooh. We're at such a low life total as it is. That's a problem. All spells. Yeesh. Okay. Huh. Does common damage to each player? Alright. Alright. Let's actually cast it. Uh, how do we crew? Yep, there we go. Power one or more, there we go. Alright. Combat? Alright. I don't think we're getting to you this game, bud. I'm pretty sure we're not. Sorry. I wish, but it doesn't look like it. We need more, one more turn to get to the Sharding Sphinx. 
And it has trample. Uh oh. How much? Oh, uh, no energy. Okay. Not yet. Cavalcade. Um. Can we do this? When it attacks, blah blah blah, no one cares. Artifact creature you control does combat damage to a player. An artifact creature. Alright. All right, there we go. We didn't exactly have them. They would have been put to one, but I can understand. That cleansing nova off the top was hot. That's, that's what carried the game. It would have been nice to be able to use the 6-1 to block, but as it turned out, didn't matter. Heliod Suncrowned. Cool. I... <laughs> I guess because of Brawl, I kind of dislike the card. You would think Pioneer would be the, the format that would do it to me, but... Uh, that... I haven't, one, I haven't gotten to play Pioneer in a while. Two, didn't that combo get gimped pretty hard already? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I remember Heliod being banned at some point, but I haven't gotten to play Paper Pioneer in so long. I'm not even completely sure I'm remembering correctly. I don't have my, my browser pulled up right now, so... I, I think so, right? I remember the Heliod, Ballista, Radiant Fountain combo. That was silly. That was dumb. Or was it Walking Ballista that was banned? Probably Ballista, right? Huh. Give him the hello. Hmm. This may be wrong. Yeah, it's probably wrong to get rid of that. Improvise with Servo Exhibition. That's pretty neat. It's pretty nifty. Yeah. Ah. I can definitely see a case for taking the Herald out instead. Um, but this card just seems really... Good. By the time that you get to the point where this card is... is useful, you can just keep your opponent from having more than one card a turn, basically. By that point in the game, they shouldn't have more than a card or two in hand. Uh, it's at the beginning of your instep that they discard, and if they have none left afterwards, then they only get one card a turn. So, yeah, it seems good. Metallic Rebuke, by the way, seems less than ideal as well, in a format where you're going to get flooded just by drawing cards. Renegade, okay. Play against Zoo. The Iron Bully. I don't know that this is a Ginger Brute game. I don't know that I'm... Well, yes, yeah, sure, I guess. We'll hang on to the Ginger Brute for a moment. We can shock it just to do it. Let's see. No point in shocking it right now, I suppose. Alright, so next turn we'll have five for improvised spells. All one of them. Hmm. Yeah, a 3-3 three, three Menace Improvise for 4 mana? I don't know that that was worthy of being kept, of all the options I had. What is this? Cruise a vehicle, it gains first strike till end of turn. Cool. Ooh, that's a card. They dropped that. Okay, well, we have yet another thing I'd like to hang on to. Oh, jeez, there's so many good cards here. Oh, man. Alright. Uh... Alright. Drop the statue so that we can live fast. Maybe not right. I maybe should have played the Ginger Brute first and held up Harness Lightning. It's not attack. No attacks. 
But I'd like to save the harness lightning for a future, like when I know that there's something I need to get rid of. Ah, oh, they do have one. Okay. Now, we have some energy. When it attacks, untap another target, artifact, or creature you control. Good, good, good. And it's crew two. Alright. It does have first strike, so there's no point in not doing this. Okay. Well, now we we need to actually hold up the harness lightning, don't we? We can play Foundry Inspector and a free ginger brew. That would be kind of funny. Not gonna lie, that would be kind of funny. First strike, enters the battlefield, you get energy, energy. When it attacks, you may pay that. Wait a minute, what's this again? Ooh, a card that takes over the game. Why are there so many good cards here? There's so many cards I want to keep. It's almost like I'm playing a really synergistic set. Alright. Well, Ginger Brute's actually a little small for what we're trying to do, I guess. So we'll hang on to you, get the extra energy, and then pass the turn. That didn't feel right, to be fair. Alright. Oh, Siphoner. Okay. Scyther. Yes. Alright, crew it. Alright. When it attacks. Hit it for four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Pop it. Pop it. Alright. Trade first strike first strike with first strike. Okay. Now we don't really need you anymore. But we don't have any more removal. Gets plus two, plus two till end of turn. That seems less than ideal. Both of those seem like they might not be great. Oh, uh, we'll drop the Foundry Inspector because at least we can use tokens from you to power you up. I suppose. Let's see. All right, coming on to the party. Coming on in, all right. All right, you may pay energy, energy, okay, good. I dare you to attack now. We have more cards though. So we're looking okay. We're looking in good shape. We're pretty close to the point where we can play our own Herald. Ooh. One less for each artifact you control. Well, funny enough... Alright, hi ya. Alright, Death Touch kills it. Alright. Play this, and then hmm. Let's see. All right, there we go. <sighs> As a black creature, you'd hope it have menace. I wish they had kept fear around. Intimidate. Flying occasionally. That seemed a little premature. I understand that it can't be blocked, but that seemed a little premature. Oh well. And yeah, to be fair, maybe I shouldn't have attacked there. I should have just... I had a creature that could go without being blocked, so... 
It was almost certainly wrong of me to attack there. Uh, but I did. Sorry. <sighs> you know. You know. Just keep it around for defense. The Nug Club. Should know what that is. Alright. Eh <laughs> Hi, hi, Snoop. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking. Hmm. Okay. actually got, gotten to cast our our giant black demon yet <laughs> not a single time yet it's silly if you can get him actually down though you know me I mean that in a good way and that's it next turn we'll go for Snoop You do actually have to cast an artifact spell, not artifacts entering the battlefield. Obviously, because of its own ability, but all of these fabricate synergies, they don't work with him. Interesting. Non-creature artifact. Which does work for crewing vehicles. Let's see. Uh... All right, Snoop. Work your magic. This is 100% Snoop Dogg. Just look at him. If Snoop Dogg were into tinkering... Oh, we have both have our own artifact-based draw engines. Okay. Hmm. Crew four. When it enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Well, because this is a cast trigger, this comes out first. Put it on you. I guess I could have put it on Snoop and attacked, though. To be fair, that might have made more sense. There's so much here, though. There's so much here. We could just go on the I'm going to beat you down with flyers plan. Hmm. Yeah. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just played Snoop. I have to. That sounds like a silver gunner rip. Drop it like it's ha, and you can just ha, just let it fade on forever, or just drone on forever. Huh. Okay. Voyager. Mace of the Valiant. Eww. That's good. Oh, man. Yeah, about that. Ooh, there's a siphoner. We can play both, but we don't have extra energy, do we? We only gain one here, and we don't have more energy right now. This thing also might just need to die. That archmage might just need to die. At this point, it might be right. I 
think we can get by a little bit longer. Even if it's a little bit. One, two, three. It has menace. Alright. Pop, pop, pop. Alright. We have reached the stage of the game where we're now casting two a turn. Ah, no, it's fine, it's fine. It works out. The target vehicle you control becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. So you just have if you just have a ton of mana, you can get away with that. Yeesh. This is what happens when you let the Archmage live, unfortunately. What was the equip cost on this again? Three. Okay. Uh, no blocks. No attacks. Okay. What is this, built to last? Okay. Blow... it's a sorcery. Blow it up. Alright. Alright, so they, no matter what, they can't block the bully, they can't block the flyers, they can block this, we will attack, force them to block it, and there we go. Make them do it. Oh, no. Okay, then. Well, fine. I'm alright with that. Okay, self-replicator. I've played this in, uh, yeah, in Vintage, that's right. I've played this in Vintage. It makes so many of itself. It's kind of silly. It's kind of stupid. Okay. Activate its ability, targeting you and you. Draw a card. I mean, they did something. To be fair, they definitely did something. And we'll get to draw an extra card here. And lose a life. No perfect KO. Okay. Yeah, that counts tokens. It's just creatures. Oh, jeez. They're gonna have one huge creature at this rate. Alright, take it. There's a familiar. Ancestral Blade. Uh, somehow I don't think that's what we're looking for. And we now no longer have a... Uh, well, we have Ancestral Blade, but we don't have a crew... Uh, a vehicle. They have flying, though. Yes, we do. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Okay. So... I guess I can drop the blade, and that gives me enough for Enchanted Carriage. Fanatic. And this only requires crew too, so crew with you gives it haste. And let's go to combat, I guess. They can actually kill Psy if I'm not careful, though. I think they'll kill the Siphoner, so it's fine. They better kill the Siphoner. Okay. They're on a completely different plan here. Whoa, double blocking Siphoner? Uh... Huh. Okay. Well, if it dies, they draw a card. So we want to actually just kill the servo. Okay. 
Huh. And then next turn, we'll have Lethal by playing the Workshop Elders. That'll give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Wait a minute, what does this do? One, one. Okay. We're good. We're fine. I thought that was the token generator. Uh, I think it's uh, the green one gives them life and energy. Yeah, that's right. That's the one that gets seen in uh, 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 Marvel decks. Oh boy. Oh boy. I guess we're just going to get a perfect four here real quick. Let's do it, right? What does this even do? I don't care. I guess I should care, though, shouldn't I? Uh, Filigree Familiar will... No, wait, 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 wait. All right. Artifact creatures you control have flying. Including the ones that already do. <laughs> I suppose. I suppose. I don't even need to crew it. It just can become one, period. Alright. And then what do you do? It doesn't matter. I suppose. Uh, I guess what? We'll drop. We don't have to drop either one of them. Next. Alright, yep, that's the one. Yes. Alright, go to attacks. And then we attack with everything. Most of which they can't block. Eight of which they can't block. And there's no life gain here. So that should just do it. Alright. Okay. Well, unfortunately Snoop, got, Snoop Dogg gets wrecked, but otherwise... Got him. They also could have made a uh, another token, which would have put them to zero. But it doesn't matter. We got a perfect four. You know. <laughs> Can't argue with that, I suppose. Even through the misplays, we still got it. Still got that. I, I played a four wins because that's when you stop getting uh, as many coins. You go 250, 100, 100, 100. Card 50, card 50, card 50. Yeah, it's it's a lot less after that. Uh, so I guess that's it for now. Uh, open a celebratory pack, I suppose. Why not? Celebratory pack. As you do. Which one? The same one I always do. I am one Triland from having all instances of the Trilands in this set. I need one Savai Triumph, and then we're good. And let's see if we got it. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon, otherwise just a bunch of Vault Progress. We'll take that, uh, add it to the pile. One rare, 24 Mythic Rares. I think we're good on Mythics. I actually thought about trying to just make a... just once the season happened, uh, or not season, once Standard rotated, just spending all the Mythics so I could start out with the best deck. I didn't have enough rares to make that work. And in any case, I like hoarding these mythics. Not for any particular reason. I'm sure later on I'll find a deck that I think is really cool, and I'll play it there. But until then, it's just kind of cool to see that. Also, one rare. <laughs> Alright. I guess that's it for now. Take care, Magic Community, and I guess I'll see you all later. Bye-bye!